Okay, we're going to be looking at some sector area. Now, first thing we need to remember is what a sector is. So a sector is a slice of pie of the circle. So the sector it's talking about here would be this whole big, like ginormous piece of pie, ginormous piece of pizza that I've kind of highlighted over in green. So that whole giant wedge of the circle there would be your sector. Now, the second thing I need to be concerned about is what these uh, words up here mean. So this word right here, that symbol there means it's talking about an angle like we talked about with arc length. And to find out what angle, I started the F, trace to the G, then go to the H. So that's, that is the angle it's talking about, this great big angle right there. I know it's an angle because of that little bent symbol right there lets me know it's an angle. So that is 150 degrees. And the second piece of information it gives you is it tells you the length of F g f g would be right here and that is actually a radius of your circle you can tell that line f g goes from the center to the edge so that is a radius of the circle so to find sector area since it says the word area i'm going to start with my formula for area of a circle which is area equals pi r square i can replace my r with a 12. So pi times 12 square is 144 pi. Now, once I have done that, that would be the area of the entire circle, but I don't want the entire circle. I just want that one little wedge, the sector. So I multiply the fraction of the circle I have, which is 150 out of the whole circle would be 360 degrees. So that's what fraction of the circle I have. I have 150 out of 360, multiply that by 144 pi. Now, since it wants my answer to the nearest hundredth, I can go ahead and uh, pull up my Desmos and just type that in 150 divided by 360 times pi. I can use my pi symbol or just type in pi. And then the radius was, let's see, 12. So 12 squared. If you want to type in 12 squared, that's fine. If you want to type in the simplified version of 144, that's fine. Either way, I get a 188.495. Please remember, hundredth is two zeros, so two decimals. So it's a four nine. And since that is a five there right on my line, that's going to make it round up. Now, this one's a little special. If I have 49 cent and I need one more, it's going to be 188.50. So that means my final answer will be 188.50. Hope that helps you with sector area.